And welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy with Rick and company. Yes. One company so far, hopefully more. <laughs> a, 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 a single companion as we have. But uh, I'm sure folks will uh, come trickling in. I'm joking. I can wrestle up Stoker at least. Let me see if we need them too. Okay. No bad. Okay, well, that's fine. Um. Bing, 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 bing. So, where are we? I love. I, I've said it. I've said it before, but I, I just I love these textures. Yeah. The sort of, sort of like a leathery surface there. Oh, hello, Miller. Hey, Miller. Hello. Uh, West's wearing something saucy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh, I see. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> a, little, uh, some, a little bit of uh, some evening wear there. <laughs> oh shoot! I'm <laughs> trapped this time. Okay. So here we've got the B movie starring Mario. This is so whimsical. I love it. Who do we have in the chat? Another TV viewer, Baxter Wild, Drake Han, Federick, just Boxer, and yeah, Attack yeah. Tips 06. Looking for a blue star chips. Hello, Jotaro Kujubra. And hello, Roshan Cookies. Hello, people in chat. And actually, I have to idle for one second because my coffee is ready. Hold on one second. I'm Miller. Oh, you're doing like a dad joke. <laughs> Since I can't hear the sound, let me find something like a Mario soundtrack on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you on Spotify? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Uh, some of it looks like it's fan made, too. <laughs> um, what do we have here? Mario Galaxy official soundtrack. So, how's Canada? Yeah, it is chilly today. <laughs> I would imagine so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are, uh, we're apparently, we're apparently due for a, uh, a hefty, uh, amount of snow this year, so, uh, sort of looking forward to that, sort of not. 
Speaking of which, uh, one thing I still find it's odd right now, like, yeah, uh, at 5 o'clock today, the moon came out early, and I said, wow. Uh, you mean... You like, mean it came uh, out early, earlier than... It... Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh... I feel like, it feels like how October never left. Maybe it didn't. Yeah. October never really leaves. It stalks us throughout the year. Mm hmm. There's only one solution. We have to destroy it. You guys aren't getting snow yet already, are you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're a few degrees above freezing right now. <laughs> the bottom. Did that guy say I can smell the boyoing? You can smell the blue star chip boyoing. Uh, what's oh, what's that, guys? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Funny, you just remind me of a Pokemon. There's one, I forget what it's called. It's a rabbit one. It's got like, like, hands for ears. Bumblebee. Yeah, Bumblebee. That's, that's the one I'm thinking of. Oh. Alright. Alright, sorry about that. That's okay, GC, we'll let it slide this time. <laughs> hello, Cosmic the Playful Woofo, who is new to this channel. Oh, hello, new person. Oh. Hello, new person. Bing, bing, bing. Pull up a seat and enjoy yourself. Or stand, I don't care. Those guys from uh, Sunshine. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking it sort of looks like FUD. You like getting flung through the air? I like getting flung through the air. I mean, who doesn't? Oh, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> well, if those guys are a recurring thing, where's the where's the Chucksters? <laughs> I'm a Chuckster! <laughs> Familiar with that one. They were the uh, Piantas. Piantas. 
in the secret levels that would throw you behind themselves. Oh, those things! Answer your question. And they suck because yeah. they would always throw you off the stage. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I, I had no idea what those were called, but I've seen them before. The designs in these games are incredibly creative. Uh, just boxer, yeah, the uh, robe could keep you warm. Um, maybe the way that Wes is wearing it, not so much. <laughs> It's it's keeping a small percentage of West form. Yeah. <laughs> it's the uh, wearing it's like uh, wearing that right amount of something is better than wearing nothing. <laughs> yeah. When you leave something to the imagination, it's uh, it it always works out better. Mm -hmm. nice. That's theory, I guess. I don't know. Mm. No, they nicely demark where you need to get tossed from. Yeah. back again. Sure thing. So, I wonder if this has anything to do with, um... Rick, I remember in the HC Discord earlier today, you were talking about how people were trying to say which, which species were, um, hackable. And you were saying you try to make all of them hackable. Yeah. Is, uh, is that the same for West as well? I mean... <laughs> the point to having a first shot otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is valid. <laughs> yeah. Hackable. <laughs> I thought for a second you said hackable. I'm like, hackable? Eh, I, I don't feel like being dirty tonight. <laughs> I mean, that's what Stoker's for. <laughs> mm hmm. Hey, I hope that's the last, the last interruption. No worries. I mean, believe me, I, I know how it goes. Uh, well, it's funny because yeah, frickable is also good. Everybody's awake tonight. That's my spike point. That's your one. <laughs> Are you all night owls? I suppose. <laughs> Not really, except for me and my brother. Yeah, 
Nice. And my sister, but she's uh, she's uh, she's out west right now. Oh. I am usually a night owl, but uh, I'm currently trying to correct for that, and it has made me very tired right now because I've been up since 11 p.m. yesterday. Oh, I feel you. I only became a night owl when I started working. That's it. <laughs> I've gotten in the habit in the last few years, but when I was a kid, I was up at six. <sighs> Probably the copious amounts of bean juice that I drink that might have something to do with it, but I can't say for sure. No, for me, it's, um... I'm an idiot, and sometimes I let myself fall into, like, uh, severe gaming addiction stuff, where I will just, like, find a video game that, like, really triggers a dopamine center, and then I will play for 14 hours straight. God. That yeah. was me. With, let's see, Portal 2 hit that button for me. Um, what other games? Uh... Satisfactory. <laughs> that was definitely one of them. Um, they're Sometimes. Definitely... Oh, what? Sorry. I thought you were done. Go ahead. Uh, for a while, Mario Maker was filling that niche. Although, what would happen is, I'd be on a hot streak, and then I'd get like a dumb troll level made by like a you know a twelve year old who thinks he's really clever, and th the. The feeling of frustration would kind of break the streak for me, and then I and, and then I'd give up. Um. <laughs> I, I I do it for dumb reasons, but what happens for me? Uh, before I go to sleep, I play a game that I have to win in the night. But then, if I start losing, I'm like, oh, I can't go to bed without a win. Just one <laughs> win. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Hearthstone was bad for that, and so was uh, Apex Legends. Yeah. Oh, the Wakfu MMO. That was another one that really oh. hooked me. Like, uh, just had me staying up late. Because that game was abundant with well, with rewards of both large and small sizes, and there was always a bazillion achievements to uh, complete. <coughs> and every quarter, the, the team would craft more of them. You know, you had the, you know, you you just you couldn't rest until you had the extra fancy blingy armor that didn't actually do that much for defense, but damn, it looked cool. Mm -hmm. Cloud, you constantly awesome. had that drip feed of rewards. <laughs> yeah. What about you, audience? What game? What games have you gotten addicted to? Experience is heavily modded Skyrim. Never played Skyrim. What? Really? I haven't played Skyrim. I suspect my hardware is probably not quite up to snuff for Skyrim. It came out ten years ago. Oh, never mind. <laughs> then I probably could play it. Literally it came out ten years ago. Like the tenth anniversary was five days ago. Wow, it's been that long. Um, well then I probably could play it, but uh um, I'm I'm lazy. Uh, actually, how much is it? Let me think about it. You'd think how hard Todd is trying to uh, make sure everyone can play it that he would have at least tried it once. Yeah. Skyrim, forty bucks. Yeah, maybe something. Still have to pay money for it. I, yeah, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it would if if it would. Well, it might hook me. Is it open? Yeah, it is open world. Okay, uh, maybe. Uh, uh, maybe I'll check it out sometime. Just stream Skyrim, so I've I've played with Mega G, but I never did with Dark Oni. I I knew one friend who was crazy into it, and she uh, she had like fan art and stuff. Like she had this whole like like fan fan comic she made. It was really good too. Um. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I've never played Skyrim. I've never played any of the Elder Scrolls games. 
Heath Claw says Magic Gathering. That's fair. Soul Trapper says Gundam Breaker 3. Boxer says Stenmaris. Miskate says Terraria and Minecraft. Sure, sure. Um, Dracon says the Mass Effect Trilogy. I've heard good things about that. Baxter Wild says Pathfinder. Oh, Simon's been playing Chicory. That's one I want to check out for sure. Um, Roshan Koke says Stardew Valley, Minecraft, and Victoria 2. Arcus Valley says Warframe. I don't, I don't even heard of that one. Um, you have it? I, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty popular free-to-play MMO. It's usually like the number third. Most days it's like the number three most played game on Steam. Let's see. What's this look like? It's oh, I uh, think I've... Sci-Fi Space Ninjas. Yeah, I think I've seen stills of this. This looks familiar. Are they all robots or something? Uh, kind of. <laughs> Are they mostly uh, robots? I have 1,260 hours in Warframe. Wow. Okay. I might, I might get into more, more games now that my backlog's been taken care of. A little more time. Yes. Gotta have something to get me through the long winter. Mm -hmm. 419 hours on Armbello. <laughs> I still, I still managed to beat that. I still can't believe it. <laughs> Let's see, how much time have I logged in Armbello? Uh... Let's see. What else? Take a I play for a while. Yeah, I've only got 42 hours in Armillo. Oh. 477 hours of T-Fortress 2. That's been a long time. I haven't I, played that since years, though. I have logged 152.2 hours in Armillo and achieved 33 out of 50 achievements. God help me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. 173 hours in Left 4 Dead and 295 in Left 4 Dead 2. Nice. <laughs> Good Back work, when... Sir. Back when zombie rushing was pretty cool back then, I was like, wow. <laughs> and so many zombies that scream rushing at you. I was like, that is cool. I love it. I'm going to keep they, playing it. They scream rushing at you? No. Uh... <laughs> that's what, it sounds like what you said. I know you said something else, but it sounded like you said they scream rushing at you. I'm like, what? Are they, no. are they rushing zombies? <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's all I got to do now is have them. Uh... Well, there was a Macho Man uh, zombie... Uh... My tool, I forgot. They just keep shouting Macho Man quotes as they beat you. <laughs> oh, yeah! S step into a Slim Jam. Oh, yeah! Let's see here. What else? We always have a lot of hours logged on to my old games. The most recent ones, the brand new ones? No, not so much. <laughs> here we go. I have 1,277 hours in PoE, 1,259 in Warframe, 1,216 in Dota 2, 741 in Terraria, 500 in RimWorld, 400 in Civ Meyer Civilization 6, 300 in Civ 5, 215 TF2, 215 in Factorio, 250 in Skyrim. Alright, I'm batting you. You're actually a real gamer. <laughs> I did not realize this, but I played Dota 2 for 1,093 hours. The thing about Dota 2, though, to be honest with you, I wasn't really uh, as hyped for that like the other games I played. The thing was, though, Dota 2 was just a very, very, like, uh, what if I did this? What if I did that scenario kind of game for me? Mm -hmm. I was going to put all these... Monte Chris, like, if you want to find out your uh, sort of Sort your Steam library by time played. You go to profile, uh, recent activity, you click on all recently played, and then you hit the all games tab. And it will show you all of your games sorted by total play time. It's not in the Steam library, unfortunately, it's in the profile. Oh, then it says that Stardew Valley is the most for me. Nice. Ended up beating out uh, the amount of time I spent in Team Fortress 2, so... There you go. Interesting. It's only 120 hours in Team Fortress 2. Yeah. 
I got 199.4 hours on Stardew Valley. <laughs> After that, it's 75 hours in Talos Principle. I don't usually spend hundreds of hours in games. <laughs> or thousands, even. Yeah. Really doing that is I, just. I did play uh, World of Warcraft briefly when I was in high school. Hmm. And that lasted a month and a half. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, because at that point, I'm like, am I actually accomplishing anything? I have a <laughs> deep seated need to accomplish things, and World of Warcraft wasn't scratching that itch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it, back when I first played World of Warcraft, the thing was like uh, it was when I first heard about it. All I knew was I it had an itch that I liked. You were fighting the uh, the humans and the orcs. That was it, and I wanted to be a dwarf hunter. Yeah. But of course, problem is though, a lot of people weren't into PvP like uh, with me back then. They wanted, and I didn't blame them. They wanted to kill Anixia, the big dragon lady, at the fir uh, very first major boss everybody wanted to kill. <laughs> I was there like, when am I going to start shooting the whore with my dwarf and his gun and my pet, my kitty cat? <laughs> Eventually, I fell back to my old play style. I became a paladin and became a healer. Hmm. Just just like the way I keep it now. But yeah, back then, and everybody was playing the, the, the free games. Hmm. Couldn't... Uh, Tibia was the popular one I was playing with people back then. Hmm. You know... If I couldn't play a sniper role, I would probably play a healer role, just because like it's you know it's it, it's it's a support role that doesn't it doesn't have so much pressure as like frontline melee stuff. Just like I just really get sad when a player dies in the game. And I'm like, you can do it again here. I'll resurrect you, and then suddenly he's like, oh, thanks, they get splat again. And he's like, ah, oh, you can do better. <laughs> Like an itch that won't go away. Uh, GC convinced himself he'll get better. Well, oh, Rick, if you're in first place, you know what that means. It means blue shells. Yeah, no, this one. <laughs> It'd be What's funny the... if a penguin whipped out a blue shell for this if you were in first too, qu too quickly. What's the deal with the blue shells? From uh, Mario Kart. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> Blue shells just instantly hit whoever's in first place because that game is super about rubber banding in that whoever's in first place needs to be knocked down and whoever's in last place gets like super incredibly strong items. Right. That shark smile creeps me out. That shark is high AF. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes he is. I remember this level being a lot harder than it was right now. <laughs> I think it I'm not sure, maybe I just wasn't used to the swimming controls when I played it on the Wii. I think it's because it was a motion control originally. Well, it's still uh, controlled by uh, the joystick, so I would have been using the nunchuck. You know, if there's any game I've probably logged thousands of hours in, it would probably be like, like the NES Mario titles, like Mario One, Two, and Three, uh, maybe Mario World. Um, I'll, I, I, there's no way I can know for sure because this was, you know, like 20, 30 years ago. But uh... <laughs> I racked up a lot of time in Breath of the Wild too because I really played at my leisure but um I don't know exactly how much there's a way to find out on Switch games I believe it does record that well unfortunately I, I don't have access to the Switch anymore it was my roommate's Switch um, mm. and then he, he moved to SoCal so we were we were looking into a way to transfer um my account data to uh, my new roommate's Switch but the timing just never lined up so, you know, whatever. I'm not, you know, I'm not in stress, no word. <laughs> Who's in a favorite snack? Choosing a favorite snack? How do you choose? Uh, you pick one of the power-ups. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, they let you pick coast or B. They're like, you gotta fly through this level. Which way do you want to fly? Wouldst thou like us to fly deliciously? I recall correctly, uh, Ghost is just so much better. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ghost, you can't really fail, right? Because you just float above the... Uh, it has all these light points here, but they're pretty easy to dodge. <laughs> so the other boos just ignore you if you're a if you're a boo. No, see, they're attracted to you. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, water also gets the boo. Oh. That doesn't make sense. This kills the boo. Okay. I completely forgot that was also a thing. Souls Raptor, the, the most dangerous game for me is anything with, like, innumerate puzzles. Like, that will just, like, that's just a time vortex for me. And not the cool Doctor Who kind either. Um, Hard to judge distance. Uh. <laughs> Turns out, uh, if you kiss the Kamek, um, it, do it does not kill the Kamek, it kills the Mario. Uh. Oh. Destroyed by love. Oh no! <laughs> that was fast. This, this level is just, uh. It's a bit of a gauntlet, isn't eat, it? Eating up your lives like soup. No, it isn't. You will know when I get to the level that eats up my lives. <laughs> okay, you know, I definitely need to kill him first, because he's going to be very annoying otherwise. In the early 90s, n not many members of my family are, are are gamers, but my uncle briefly was, because um, he happened to... Uh, there, was, there was a time when we were hanging out, and I was playing Mario 3, and he got really into it. Um... And there's, uh, I think it's World 7, the, the, the pipe world. There's a spot where you can go as many times as you want through a castle and hit a P, and hit a P switch and just get like this abundance of coins. You could just keep doing it until the time ran out. Um, so you could effectively get all the way up to 99 lives in that castle. We were like, it was this like, like, Indiana Jones moment for us, like, wow, we found the treasure. You know, we just, we were just like on top of the world. And then, um, then we got to World Eight, <laughs> and you know that part with the airships, you know the the the, the tiny little like rocketing platforms. That's really that part difficult. looks significantly <laughs> harder than it actually is. Well, <laughs> we uh, we weren't very good at it, either of us, and. We burned through like, like sixty or seventy lives, just like burned through the entire bounty we'd previously acquired. <laughs> it was it was kind of amazing. Um, I didn't I didn't really I had my, while my coordination was better at that age, I definitely did not have the uh, the necessary uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like I didn't I didn't have like the um. Skills. The <laughs> yeah, the skills. Yeah, the, the strategy, basically. Yeah, basically. And it was just there. There was a lot, yeah. a lot of games where, if I redid them now, it would be very different. Probably a lot easier. But yeah, that was uh, that was a moment. <laughs> and he looked at me and he was like, "You want to keep doing this, little dude?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> You've got a much, much stronger gamer sense now. Yes. Yeah, I do. I do. I, I'm not quite as fast as I used to be, but maybe that's a good thing in a way because, um, you know, the uh, the quickness was it, it made me clumsy sometimes. <laughs> There's a lot of like pro strat type stuff and like boss beating stuff that requires like very specific sequences, you know, of buttons and moves and stuff. And I think I would be better at that now, probably. Do 
Reminds me of the time where my uncle, he only played one game when I was growing up, and that was Mike Tyson punch out. And his sole reason was he, he tried to brag that if Mike Tyson ever met me, I beat him just like I bit him in this game. And I was like, yeah, sure, you say that. <laughs> it's uh, quite a boast. I know, he was boastful. Uh, of course, I was a kid back there, he was probably, probably like, trying to act tough, but it was still funny. It's like he does a large shadow behind him and he just hears, Yo, I had you talking shit about me. <laughs> Party. I love that when I was a kid, that was hilarious. My uncle thinks he can take out Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> And I missed. Then I missed. I had Pabsco passed out. Woke up. I hit fire. I missed again. <laughs> God. <laughs> Not being able to control the camera is very annoying underwater. I can feel that, yeah. Let me find the underwater music. There we go. Certainly don't need it because uh, bosses in this game are pretty easy. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh my. Brutal. I don't think I've ever died to him before. Yeah, you're not usually supposed to do that.
Put that bullet guy for a second. Yeah. Okay. What Push happened? Down. Uh, that that shark bill, uh, shark bullet. <laughs> Monte Crispo says, I like that all the shells are, like, jet-propelled. <laughs> no, I'm not sure why Nintendo decided that. Because <laughs> that started in, like, Super Mario World. You were holding a shell underwater, and you were propelled forward for some reason. <laughs> I thought it was, like, a glitch or something. Well, you see, I think it might have started as a glitch, and then they were like, eh, let's just make that a mechanic. <laughs> It was weird because like, it. It, 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 it was, I mean, I could see it as a benefit, but like, it was actually awkward in places where there was like, a large fields of like, cheap cheeps and squids and crap, mm -hmm. you know, because then you don't want to be moving fast, you know, you want to have a little more precision. But those are the best game mechanics, Jonas, is when there's risk and reward. Yeah. You get to go fast, but it's harder to control. No, it's gotta be easy. No. It's gotta be easy. You must you must have opportunity for failure. No. Because of your own hubris. You mean hubris? Yes, I, I'm I am purposefully saying it wrong. <laughs> I should have said your own herbis. <laughs> herbis herbis. No, no. herbis. The gods have to have Struck me down from a herbis. Dear chat, what's your favorite Mario power-up out of all the games? Vote now on your phones or mobile devices. Snooky suit. Wait, what did you say, Miller? Tanuki suit. Oh, Tanuki suit. I think you said sneaky suit. I'm like, sneaky suit? <laughs> um, well, I know the one I, I liked the least was the frog suit. I mean... That's an incredibly useless suit right there. Just the inferior um, version of the Tanuki suit. Exactly. I like Kerbo's shoe because you could just violently smush everything. Um, <laughs> what else? 
I like the propeller hat because it, you know, it provided a more predictable ascent than, you know, than like the, the, the Tanuki sort of the cape, you know? You just went up. Oh, and... no, never mind. I already know what mine is. What's that? Uh, Civic Honda. <laughs> nice. It was Tet, well, whatever the car manufacturer was. I think it was a Toyota. But yeah, that thing, when they did the fucking cross-promotion with an actual <laughs> car brand. It's so weird. And everyone was just like, why? Because <laughs> that's how Mario gets around. What, do you think he just walked everywhere? Gosh. Mm. Well... <laughs> this it wasn't like, uh... Final Fantasy 15. What, what did they do in that game? Oh my god, dude, that game had so much product placement. It was weird. Is that the one where they had a uh, cell phone uh, product placement I heard about? I cell phone. Was. So, so they had. It's a game where you're playing as these four guys in a cross country trip. Mm -hmm. And part of that is that you have to stop for camping trips occasionally. All of the camping gear is Lewis Coleman branded. <laughs> um, when you're in the town, I think all of the characters' clothes are like Louis Vuitton branded or some designer brand of like you could actually get them in real life. <laughs> I remember um, that. Go on, sorry. There was a whole thing of like a there was like a cup noodle. Uh, Cross brand thing. Oh yes, you just yes. Wore a giant styrofoam cup mascot outfit. <laughs> yes, I read. I, I read about that actually. In fact, I have that game. I haven't played it in a long. I haven't played it in ages. I I ran into that a bit in some of the Pokemon games. Like uh, Go, Go had a lot of sponsorship uh, later on in his life, and um, I want to say Sun and Moon did too. I feel like there was at least I one. Brand. I feel like there was at least one brand named Cap that I that that was in the store. I feel I, I I can't say that for sure, but I feel like that happened. Pokemon seems like a weird one. Yeah. But I mean... yeah. Um, eventually in Go, uh, all all of Starbucks became Pokestops, and then all um, uh, what's the phone brand like? Not T-Mobile. It was um, Sprint, I think. All the Sprint stores became Pokestops, and it was weird. <laughs> mm. And and they started having like like themed hats and stuff for Pikachu. Like you eventually had like like event Pikachu's that would have like you know some some branded ball cap or some shit. I mean, I can kind of understand that more for Go because Go is kind of a game that already crosses over with real life. Yeah. But for something like Sun and Moon, I don't know. That just seems kind of weird. Well, I have to like, I have to like double check that that actually happened. Because I remember it that way, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, if we want uh, product placement in video games again, we already have the perfect product placement, and that's Yodnoid, and uh, what was the 7-Up game? <laughs> Replayed as a bottle cap. <laughs> Next thing you know, craft dinner. Craft dinner in a cup. You know, I don't really... The 7-Up mascot yeah. wasn't a bottle cap, he was the spot that was on the logo. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah. And then uh, Sneaking, which was just a perfect game. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> yeah. 
the chat saying cool spot ruled hard. That one that one I'm being a little less ironic on. That one was actually kind of a well remembered game. <laughs> and a pretty decent platformer for being, you know, mascotty. <laughs> yeah. Biscotti. Now it's just making me want biscotti. Oh, no, I don't want biscotti. No, <laughs> why? I need to go to the grocery store again soon. I ran out of strip waffles. Oh, damn it. I require more Danish cookies. Give them to me. Stop! <laughs> why? Aria, why are you not going down in the water? <laughs> Instinct, you know the whole drowning thing? Yeah, Stroop Waffles are very good. Do the whole, like, putting it over a coffee thing, because I don't drink enough coffee to do that. I usually <laughs> just, like, microwave it for 10 seconds or something. <laughs> That's cute. Silver stars of sea something. Of sea slide. Yes. Coming back to this one because there's a secret star here. Yes. Okay, uh, chat, I want to hear about that. About? Wendy's what? released a TTRPG, and then Critical Role played it, and then removed the video of them playing it. Oh my god. I 
<laughs> Look at that article titled, Wendy's just made a Dungeons and Dragons style game where you fight McDonald's. <laughs> Feast of Legends. Feast of Legends. Feast, uh, Feast of Legends. <laughs> you fight the Ice Jester. This is amazing. Hmm. What is this? The nation of Frestovia has been the lone beacon of hope in the land of Beef's Keep for decades. However, the Ice Jester and his rogues gallery of frozen fiends threaten Queen Wendy's reign of prosperity. All right. This is a thing. <laughs> When he's kind of, probably like, when he's probably like, just like hated at the same time. Go ahead. When he's just like, we gotta get something to get, uh, like the nerds think we're cool. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> the order of beef. <laughs> This is amazing. What is this? Very silly. Order of the Baconator. The one late night craving passive. While attacking at nighttime, you will gain advantage on all attack and sustainable. <laughs> Fresh, never frozen, passive. Level two, two beef patty is uh, passive. Yeah. Nope, it could have doubled. <laughs> Level three, Applewood Smoke Bomb. <laughs> what is this? Level five, six strips of bacon. All right, I'm closing that tab right now. It, it, it just it's amazing. Stupid, honestly. <laughs> All of this started from just uh, one little Denny's blog being a little too frisky, and now every fast food chain is like this. Yep. Wait a minute. You collapse the black hole into a star. Yes. That's not how that works. That's how it works here. Yeah, chat says um, they got really bad backlash over it. The corporate shilling was too much for the fan base. Well, I don't really doubt it. I mean, it sounds like it could be funny, but on the other hand, that's just really cringe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're cringe, you heard it here, folks. Bro. You heard it here, folks. Rick thinks it's cringe, bro. I, I don't call a lot of things cringe, but that's cringe. Yeah, Corporations mm -hmm. can do cringe easily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In fact, they frequently do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we can't forget. You can, ne uh, can never forget uh, forget Kingdom Hearts Cringe, but it was good. It was good. <laughs> I okay. almost remember when Chuck E. Cheese was trying to appeal to '90s kid. They get, they made Chuck E. like a skater. Hey, dudes, check out my radical pizza. You know, it's like wow. Uh, it's reading time. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> After so, seven, the telescope. After seeing their 100th comet, a sudden thought popped into the girl's head. I wonder if my home planet is still as blue as it was. That's when she remembered her father's telescope. Telescope. Her father's it's... telescorpion. Yes, telescorpion. <laughs> I don't know why I'm burping right now. Uh, peeking into the telescope, a tiny blue dot floated into sight. It was smaller than a star bit. How strange. It's so far away, but it feels so close. 
She twisted the knob of the telescope and the blue dot grew until she could make out a grassy hill dotted with flowers. It seemed very familiar to her. Zooming even closer, a terrace on the hill came into view. I used to go stargazing there when I lived on my home planet. She remembered rubbing the sleep out of her eyes as she followed her father up that hill to look at the stars. She remembered how she and her brother would sled down that hill. She remembered having picnics with her mother on that hill on bright and windy days. And... I want to go home. I want to go home right now. The little girl burst into, te into tears, and Lumas didn't know what to do. I want to mm. go home. I want to go back to my house by the hill. I want to see my mother. The girl is shouting now, her face wet with tears. But I know she's not there. I knew all along that she wasn't out there in the sky, because... Because... She's sleeping under the tree on the hill. The girl's oh. cries echoed through the stars, and a hush fell over the area. Oh no, my mother turned into a tree! <laughs> yes, that's what you're supposed to take away from that. Yes, that's 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 what happened. She totally didn't bury her mother on that hill. Oh my god. Jonas, it, it's funny you post that picture because that's actually all I remember Chuck E. Cheese being like when I was a kid. I don't remember yeah. him being anything other than that. That that it, did. Have you ever seen the Chuck E. Cheese live action VHS movie? No. Oh my god. I. It, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be surprised that this is a thing, but. Uh. <laughs> does uh, does Chucky have a dramatic arc? Does he find the uh, real meaning of pizza? Something like on, that. Does he go on an epic quest and like teach kids not to do drugs or something? Don't do drugs. Uh, do pizza. Uh, yes, he, he, there, he goes on a sci-fi race. It is it is very episode one. Nice. Weird, but nice. So is there like a pizza planet or something? Yeah, there's something like that. Amazing. This is, this is very good. Hold on, let me, let me see if I can find some, some of this. Galaxy song. 5, it's called the Galaxy 5000. Galaxy 5000. Oh my god, I'm looking at it. It's such bad green screen and stuff. This looks amazing. I'm just looking at the cover and that, yeah. This is, so he was like, it was like a space race? Mm-hmm. What is this? This looks so bad. Can you imagine having this on your resume in any capacity? Uh, <laughs> I was I was the uh, video editor for the uh, <laughs> Turkey Cheese Live Action movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I forgot there's this fucking like Gandalf esque figure. <laughs> Charlie Rockets animals are in danger of losing their farm because they need 50000 to replace their tractor. To raise the money, Chuck E. Cheese and his friends decide to enter the Galaxy 5000 race on the planet Orion. Alright. I feel like this will be very MST3K-able. Is that on YouTube? Oh, I'm sure it would be. Oh my god, it's on YouTube. Uh-oh. The whole movie is on YouTube. <laughs> oh no. Alright, I'm, I'm uh -oh. saving this to my links. <laughs> oh lord, what is this? I, wow. I had that VHS as a kid. I watched that movie several times. Mm. This looks... This looks special. Mm-hmm. I, what is happening here? I, I, all right, I gotta, I gotta put this away. I can't look at this now. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. 
This will have to wait until later. <laughs> What are you what are you linking there, Miller? Let's go some screen caps I found oh. that kind of show the the shitty quality of the movie. <laughs> oh boy, this is the worst power up in any Mario game ever. Spring, <laughs> Spring Mario. Mario. This is so, just, so, it's, so difficult to control, it's it's amazing that this got past their test. Oh jeez, okay. Think about the hype buff. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I think they gave you too many buffs this game. The guy nerfed you. Actually, yeah, this looks incredibly obnoxious. It's basically the frog suit, except uh, not underwater, sort of. <laughs> no, it's worse than that. The frog suit, at least, is very consistent about how it moves. Yeah. This is not. Yeah. And of course, you're like, and also like you ricochet off of uh, walls, right? Uh, so you can't get too close to a wall. Yeah, I started to notice too that, that the frogs did small hops too, but this makes big hops even on what's well, supposed to be like normal movement. Looks like mm -hmm. you can't stop moving. Uh, the, the the orientation of the spring when you land will dictate uh, which direction you move slightly. Mm. And all of this just for the ability to jump a little bit higher. I guess here's the thing I wonder about this Chuck E. Cheese thing. Mm -hmm. how, how many people... I guess maybe this goes for all mascot actors. How many of them do you think were furries and they're just like, Hey, I get to spend my 9 to 5 also suiting. You know, <laughs> I have known... I mean, this has been years. But I have known a few who were at the very least furry adjacent because um, they're... In the beginning, there was definitely some crossover. I, I don't know if it's still the case. Probably is. Um, but uh, there were. I knew one guy who uh, did some sports mascot stuff. Um, in, uh, in in you know in, in like in like anthropomorphic char character suits, like sp ones that were specifically Dalmatians or something. Um, and there were a couple of like puppeteers and like like suiting you know like, like you know like think of like like the bear in the big blue house like those kinds of shows who were kind of friends with some of the uh, artists i knew back in the day so it was there was at the very least some overlap if not probably lots i mean it really you know you really have to like you have to be really outgoing to want to do something like that you know <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 I couldn't do it.
Do any of you remember the Fun Day Paw Pet Show? Mm. Sorry, the what? The Fun Day Paw Pet Show. Not. No. They they were kind of kind of pioneers in a sense uh, because they were doing live streaming uh, with you know with with furry puppets uh, all the way back in like. I would say like the like the late nineties, I think, is when they started. Uh, you know, this is like in the time of real player and three sixty P, okay? You know, this was this was like it was it was very uh, a very rickety connection compared to modern standards. But they did it. They did it like every week. Um it was all like folk minus puppets. And it was kind of amazing for the time. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll have to like Dig it up on YouTube if you want to see an example. But it was uh, it was it was really something. I knew a few of the guys who worked on that. But yeah, when I say some of them had overlaps, like with Disney, you know, and mascot crowds, that that was them. You know, they definitely, I, I def they definitely knew some of the folks who. Uh, yeah. Well, there's Stoker. I'm trying to lure him in here. Yeah, I don't think they're doing regular streams anymore, but uh, I do think they do stuff once in a while now, like at cons and stuff like that. <laughs> Most of them were down in Florida, I believe, and they also had like uh, remote links to a few other ones in like different states. In purely technical sense, it was pretty impressive for the for you know that era, for like late nineties, early two thousands. They are still going. Um, my bad. I thought that I thought they wrapped it up. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Well, right. you all should definitely check it out. Ah, so I see we're fighting uh, Brigadier Mollusk Glenser the Third Dolphin of Bablane. Hmm. Okay. I didn't know Poppin was still going. I'll have to like start watching them again myself. They should be on Twitch. Um. Oh, they are on Twitch. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, That's a big stuff. Ba -bum. Ba -bum -bum -bum. Is Mario walking on the surface of an actual star? Uh, sure. I mean, Mario also, you know, he, he steps close to those tiny black holes without any ill effects. <laughs> Clearly he's a god. And he needs to be stopped. 
Alright, we stopped. It's just a planet that doesn't have a crust, therefore it's only the planet core. Mario, time for you to move on to the next stage. <laughs> I thought you were going to say time to move on to the afterlife. Your reign is finished. Every plumber, every plumber must must give up at some point. Yeah, I almost forgot um, with Rosalina that they did the story piece that they did. I forgot that it got so serious. Serious story for a serious star. Like, I will admit... Um, while it's interesting to have a serious story, it is a bit of a tonal whiplash with the rest of the game. <laughs> uh, Odyssey had the right level of just like serious versus jokey sort of thing, right? Yeah. Look, as long as no, no as long as nobody dies, I'm okay with it. You know. I no mean, people that's... Have to die. There must be consequences. Look, Bob Bobby was the line. All right, that was that was too much for me. Bobby and um Prince um uh Prince Jackass. What was his name? <laughs> I don't even remember what you're talking about. You know the the the, the origami king, the jerk, the brother. Oh, Prince Ollie. It's Ollie. Thank you. Yeah, like <laughs> it's like okay, yeah, you know. Angst is fine. Actually, having them like sacrifice themselves—it's not okay. No. What was Sonic 06's story? Uh. <laughs> you don't turn. Uh, but um, stuff things. Okay. Uh, what was it? Like, Sonic's DNA created Mephistopheles, and then Mephistopheles destroys the world, and then Silver and Blaze grew up in this oh. cataclysmic world, and then they find the ability to go back in time. It was and so they, they decide to stop Sonic, because if he's the, the trigger for the Mephistopheles, then they can just stop him. Right. And then Sonic and Shadow are just like, are you stupid? Stop Mephistopheles. <laughs> And then, like, Silver was, like, Sonic's descendant or something, right? Uh, I don't know. Probably something like that. Uh. All I know is that Blaze was introduced in that game. She's the best Sonic character. Besides, maybe, Quiet. Alright, you get this game's wing cap. Yeah, as Frederick is remembering the weirdly detailed, the weirdly high detailed Eggman. Nice. The highly detailed Eggman.
You know, actually, I have not seen the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie yet, but I'm kind of excited for the second one. Um, sp spoiler free, it wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't like amazing. It was pretty predictable. I'm, you know, hit all the save the cat beat. But <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I let this easy do carry. <laughs> Did you not like it, Rick? Yeah. It was extremely baseline serviceable as a Sonic movie. But as a uh, Robotnik origin story, it was actually pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of interested in the second one, but it's apparently going to be bore. I, I want to say Green, Hi Green Hill Zone universe. Just to be like it's going to be more in the Sonic world or whatever. Idris and then Idris yeah, and then Idris Elba being like, I'm going to play a very se sexy Knuckles, and everyone's just like, what? Well, I mean, he sounds that way no matter what, you know? He's just got that he's Yes, got but voice. he specifically said on his Twitter, he's like, I, you're going to get the sexiest iteration of Knuckles you've ever seen. And people are just like, what? <laughs> Maybe he'll be, like, jacked, like in Sonic, uh, Sonic Boom. I thought they uh, showed his design. It's like... Did they? I, I thought so. <laughs> there was like a screen grab from it. I will. Uh, I will have to check that out. I'm, I'm curious. I'm kind of concerned, but curious. I'm con serious. You're serious, curious. Yes. Yeah. Seriously curious. Oh. Curious kills. <laughs> no, okay, so I see what it was. It was um people were taking photos from the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 set uh. where they have like plastic dolls for the Sonic characters, so the actors know where to act at. The cheddar and, guy and they had one for Knuckles, and so people were just like, oh, this is what Knuckles is going to look like, even though <laughs> <laughs> even though it's got the Sonic and the Tails one standing next to them, and they look nothing like their movie counterparts. They're just the right height, and that's it. Yeah. I was going to say, Cheddar Guy 5, uh, West, uh, West is a kangaroo, so that's why, why they look like one. <laughs> anyway, sorry, go on. One thing I didn't know about Idris Elba is that in addition to all the other things he does, he's a fairly competent DJ. Um, you can you can actually find some of his DJ sets online. It's, it's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. I've always said if I had a, a wish list for doing HC voice acting stuff, top of my list would be Idris Elba as a Terry and Judy Dench as Jakari. That'd be nice. <laughs> I, I don't know why I imagine the group being British, but that's kind of just what's in my mind. Hmm. I do not have 1200. You do not have 1200. Extra world. <laughs> oh, 46. Deep dark galaxy. Red not galaxy. Matter so I... galaxy. Who would you get for Sarsuk? Dreadnought guys, I, world. Is it weird to say David Spade? <laughs> I just want someone who sounds like a giant asshole. I don't know if David Spade would be deep voiced enough for for a creature like that. Maybe not. I feel like for that size, he's just got to be down here a little bit. Or or maybe maybe you could subvert that. Maybe that's the perfect voice. <laughs> no touchy, no touchy, no touchy feely.
Yeah, I don't know. I think if I'm going for the British thing for Guru, I can't say like uh, Benedict Cumberbatch for Sarsuk. And also, that feel like a bit of uh, typecasting. Hmm. Yes. A uh, Moani would definitely be Daisy Ridley. <laughs> hmm. Who was the guy? Keith David. What does Keith David sound like? Uh, Goliath from, um, from Gargoyles. And a whole bunch of other stuff. I watched the movie of Gargoyles that was like the pilot, and that's the only thing I've ever seen of Gargoyles. You haven't seen Gargoyles? You haven't seen it Gargoyles? It was before my time. I, I had the combination VHS movie and... VHS board game. Yeah. You should see it. But I didn't watch the actual show. It's 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 really good for the for the time period. I mean it was yeah. kind of ahead of its time in many ways. And it has like like half of the actors from like Next Generation and mm -hmm. Deep Space Nine and Voyager. It also yeah, Puck. That's what I understand. Yeah, Marina Sirtis is like one of the main villains. Yeah. It also is Puck. Everybody likes Puck. And the writing was kind of, it was very forward in the sense of, like, it had, like, season-long arcs that kind of slowly built up. Like, in, in, in you know, with little little hints and things that you hardly even noticed. And then it was like, you know, later episodes were like, oh, yeah, there's so-and-so from, you know, from episode seven or whatever. And um, it was just really fascinating. Okay. I was just very Keith David now. No, that would, Keith David would be seen on. I also had one of the things that I actually was surprised for when I was watching this game out of all of these cartoons, this one was also the riskiest. I was pretty surprised, like, with the way they, like, for the clothes. And they made no, uh, they pretty much tried very hard to point out, yeah, Brooklyn wanted a woman. And I could tell right there with the way he was worrying things. Yeah. It was very risky for a show back then, for, uh, from Disney. I said, I was very surprised. And there was, of course, the first episode showed blood. And. Like there, it was, and like uh, then I read that they tried to make it like they wanted to compete with Batman back then. That was the way why it, ha it was that way. I think there was some overlap in the staffs um, between those two shows, and you know there's the gun episode. And yes, Baxter has a point. Watch Gargoyles for the first two seasons, and then just pretend the third season does not exist because it's garbage. Yeah, yeah at that time the, the original writing team was gone. I, yeah. I read. Because Disney, you know, th their attitude is, hey, maybe we can do it cheaper. That's how Disney sounds. That's 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 Disney's voice right there. Really? I thought they sounded like, ha ha, I knew we <laughs> could do it cheaper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got a contract. I've got a contract for your life. You can't go anywhere uh, else, bitch. I own you. They had some weird uh, rules for that show too back then. I read like they they had to advertise the helicopter when it was just like one scene, uh, one scene only. They but uh, it was like on the toilet that helicopter that that the gargoyles flew on that blew up. Yeah, that's the main theme of the show, guys. You know, for the longest time I wanted the gargoyles movie, but in the current, you know, in the post superhero era. I don't know if it would be so good. I know what they would try no. and do with it, and that makes me kind of not want it anymore. <laughs> Somehow I feel like this is still going to join us. Ray, you decided you had to join us and talk about gargoyles. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> also, if I, uh, honestly, I thought uh, gargoyles would be Stoker's me, but hey, Ray, I'm glad you're here. I didn't. You like gargoyles too? I didn't want everyone to hear me like munching and stuff. That's fine. <laughs> Now we were just talking about gargoyles. Hudson, stay here. Guard the guard the guard tower, clock tower.
I laughed at uh, Rick was in the and it was in the stream. When I was watching that. He's like, oh, okay, Hudson. Yeah, he just puts on slippers. <laughs> <laughs> What did you join us? Candy corn, you're finally up on my lap. They haven't been doing that lately. What's on? I'm trying to think who else would be good for a voice cast. Do like Michael Sarah for Gert. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I guess. Kind of awkward. I can see it. Sure. I don't know, though. I don't know if Michael Sarah has done any voice work. I don't know if he'd be good at that. Well, I mean, you know, you don't voice actors for, for voice roles anymore. I mean, Chris Pratt. Just give Chris, Chris Pratt as, as, as uh, Gert. God no! <laughs> but I, I'm I'm still surprised I didn't know. Look, if I wanted to take like industry professional something, I would I would get uh, Troy Baker or Matthew Mercer before I got Chris Pratt. <laughs> At least they can do. Oh something yeah, different. go with the go with the staples: Troy Baker, Matt Mercer, Yuri Lowenthal, John Chiplock. At the very least, Sean uh, Chiplock would appreciate it because he's a furry. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's a furry. I think he's like furry. He is 100% a furry. Okay, right, fine, fine, okay. <laughs> Same as the, uh, the... Liam O'Brien. <laughs> the, uh, Lagoshi's oh, voice actor Jill, Jill who's, Jill like, Scott. super into the furry stuff. Just grab the whole crew from, uh, Team Four Star. <laughs> you know, you... It is possible to be into furry stuff and not actually like furry. I'm just sad. It's it's, it's possible. possible. It doesn't but happen. Right I right mean, anymore. there's there's also evidence. That's, yeah, that's there's right. evidence to the contrary. <laughs> I mean, look at me, guys. Come on. Yeah. God. In 2021, everybody's a furry. Kitty Cat just says that, uh, That's is it my goal. master? Kitty Cat's just saying right here, is the master enjoying the Kitty Cat show? It's not a Kitty Cat show, it's a Mario show. Hmm? Where do I know Liam O'Brien's name from? I'm sure I've... <laughs> Hold on, let me go. Chief Engineer O'Brien. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. Girls Brown, Tales of Vesperia... Red 13 in Final Fantasy 7. The movie. Okay, the movie. Uh, um. Uh. And a bunch of anime. Wall Street, Kill Beast. Wow. Goes me soon. Oh, Naruto. He was Gara. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's been in a lot of things, but I can't think of one thing he was like. The protagonist then. He was War in Darksiders. That's one where he was the main character. I think the game is very much like, uh, or at least the character of War is very much this dark, gruff voice. <laughs> And it's like, eh, I don't, I don't know if that's for HC. Well, I feel like no, he, the characters he, would be a little more lively. He, <laughs> he's been kind of on the wider end sometimes, too. Hmm. Where I've seen him, but there's a lot of this I haven't seen him. Yeah, then you gotta go for the weird ones like, uh. Uh, fuck, what's his name? Who? Yeah. 
Uh, for like, it's like uh, End in Toe is played by Danny DeVito or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. That'd be weird. <laughs> Thanks to see you, Rabs. There's the pudding. Who would be? All oh, right, he was Illidan. In okay. Oh yes, you are not prepared. Yeah, he's got that kind of, like, raspiness <laughs> to his voice. Like a certain gruffness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, poor, oh yeah, Pokokoro would be played by Meryl Streep. <laughs> Just doing her Devils Were Prada character. <laughs> Nobody cares. Was she the was she the fox mom in Fantastic Mr. Fox? I don't know. Yeah, she If what I think is happening is happening. Better not it be. better not be. <laughs> yeah. I can't even lie. Yeah, I think she could do a good Pokokoro, just like a little bit unhinged. <laughs> well, at, at certain points a little bit, and at certain points a lot. What is Sanders and Saber and Celestia? What? <laughs> I'm just imagining Wes Anderson's and Celestia. No. <laughs> Everybody either loves or hates Wes Anderson's direct. There's just oh, but isn't that, isn't that the perfect place to be as an artist? Is that everyone has a love or hate relationship? Well, nobody there's... nobody considers you mildly. I mean, there's no such thing as bad publicity except they're totally it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just ask, just that uh, what? Just ask uh, Blizzard. <laughs> God. <laughs> I love that the train uh, just does not seem to want to end. I love the uh, hard drive article today that was like in response to uh, bad connotations with Bobby Kotick. Uh, Activision Blizzard is going to change Bobby Kotick's name. <laughs> and it's just like it's getting, it's getting silly at that point. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's trying to be like, yeah, we're going to change the name of a thing instead of, you know, doing any actual change. <laughs> I'll be right back. What's up? I'm kind of surprised it it took them this long to come up with a uh, just watching the gameplay here again, thinking about the upcoming Kirby game that it, it took them this long to get to a 3D Kirby game. Yeah, full 3D Kirby. Well, because it's, it's one of those things of just like why. I guess the question is why do that, right? It's like you clearly have a successful niche with a Kirby game. If you start making a full 3D game like this, you're going to be kind of stepping on the toes of, like, Mario. Um. <laughs> but I guess it's just one of those things where it's, like, the people who work at, uh... Oh, 
what is the Kirby Owl. company called? How Laboratory. How? Yes, thank you. Yeah, they probably were just like, hey, we've been waiting for like 12 years and we've just been really wanting to make a 3D game. Can we just make a 3D game? At some point, the producers gave in. Well, it's also like, you just know when uh, Miyamoto retires or more likely dies that uh, Sakurai is probably going to take his place. Yeah. So Sakurai gets to do what he, whatever he wants now. Yeah. We'll see if he gets uh, un unlatched from the ball and chain that is Smash Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> this wants to go back to giving Kirby funny hats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> which is which is my theory on why Smash Brothers was invented in the first place. Sakura, I just wanted to give Kirby more hats. I believe it. Two random coins up there, okay. Cause we your health can. back, I guess. Kablooey. Is that something that was in in uh, Mario 64 that they never really brought back in any of the other games? The little health replenishing hearts you could run through? In Mario 64, um, there were these little spinning hearts that yeah. you could run through to replenish your health, and I don't think they brought those back ever again, so now it's just coins do it. Uh, I, well, think I mean, coins did it, it in Mario 64, I think. They, ha I they, they figured they it hearts. probably wasn't that necessary since there were other ways to refill your health. Yeah. Yeah. Going back here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Set pieces, set pieces, set pieces! Blink X. Up! Uh, uh, oh. Okay, you want to do There you go. I have a little kitty. Ugh. When Rick nearly fell off the ledge there, instead of him falling off, he continued along the side because it's it's got the whole gravity platform thing going on, <laughs> which I guess would be another solution for the whole coyote time stuff. <laughs> Just 
Just make it so you can't fall off platforms. <laughs> I mean, there are several levels or planetoids that are like that. Especially the first one, that's why it's all a bunch of, like, uh, bean pods. Is that you could just run around them forever and ever and you can't fall off. Mm. As you're getting used to the gravity systems for the first time. Now is this wood? Is this thing made out of wood or stone? Yes. Or bone? All of the above and more. Like stone. Cool. So the center thing looks like stone, but that outer thing that looks like wood or bone. I think I saw a skull. Hmm. <laughs> This is the the space elephant graveyard. Yes, the abandoned China level. <laughs> I'm sorry, the what? Can't China. show skulls in China. Oh. <laughs> well, you oh, can't show God. human skulls. It looks kind of human. Uh, Not sure if we'll be able to see it again. Yeah, they, they believe showing any part of a dead body is disrespectful to the dead. Yeah. And they don't like movies about time travel. Because, you know, it's it's no good to think you can change history. <laughs> what? That's that, true. That's a weird one. Yeah. Oh, don't get me started. Wait, did China you... has a lot of... You weren't just... You yes. weren't just making that up, Jonas. That is a no, thing. No, I, I read this. <laughs> like you aren't. You you can show ghosts, but you're not allowed to imply that they're actually uh, spirits from right. of the dead. Right. <laughs> oh, oh God. After who is banned in China because of government's anti time travel stance? What the? <laughs> China bans time travel films and shows, citing disrespect. See, All right. It, 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 uh, it, it's <laughs> Every, everywhere's got something. I yeah, just didn't no, know that true. was a thing. Yeah, it's it's weird. I will avoid ranting about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 20 Doctor minutes. Can, can we beat the game in 20 minutes? Do it. Hey, let's do it. Doctor Who joins X Files, Star Trek, Terminator, Back to the Future, and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. As <laughs> yep. <laughs> for time travel. <laughs> Alright, you want to go to your special one in the center of the universe? Oh, righteous, bro. So, okay, Iron Man 3 has a special edition that was only seen in China because they ha they added extra footage of, like, Chinese doctors taking the shrapnel out of his out of his chest thing. Like, they had a whole subplot with this. And there was, like, mm -hmm. obvious product placement where the Chinese doctor was, like, drinking some, like, like milk drink or something right before he went to go operate on Tony Stark. I'm not making any of this up. <laughs> Oh god, Rosalina, you're killing all those people on those ships! What are you doing? She's absolutely the twist villain, I'm telling you. I do not trust her. <laughs> that a sign of remorse on her face. Exactly. Just completely unfeeling. <laughs> With these sparkles, space. I will she's annihilate like, the enemy! Dude, she's totally like a Galadriel character. She's just gonna like flip out and become this like evil, evil god. You know? Thank you for bringing me all these stars, Mario. I mean, there's a now reason can... you can't see her other eye. <laughs> yes. It's the demon eye. <laughs> it's the Sharing Gun. Oh, God. The last star was me. You know. <laughs> Fate of the universe? All right, let's do this. Let's do this. 
Don't fail! <laughs> yeah, Mira, this is not the time to fail. Oh, those are like tractor beams, okay. They're like the funnels in Portal 2. Ah, double ah. gravity. <laughs> double gravity? It'd be funny if double gravity crushed Mario. <laughs> <laughs> double gravity sounds like someone would crush Mario. Especially his hat, his poor hat. They should have taken most, pe oh. most people would be fine under double gravity. Yeah, double double <laughs> gravity is a not hard, not but, you know. <laughs> did not crush him like like a thwomp crush, but just like make him crouch and walk slowly. Oh no! And he just has very heavy footfalls. Two G R F. I don't need your one-ups. I have plenty. I don't require they put your one -ups. so many one-ups in this in this stage. I <laughs> say good days, sir. Is there any way I can trade in ten of these one-ups for one of those double life things? Those are a much better power. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Making you go through all of the game mechanics. Oh, that one's easy to get. <laughs> I know. Not anymore. It's done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, there you go. What? That one up did come in handy. They go to old bait you with a one up that ends up killing you. Yeah. Mm. That's a classic. It is. Fine, it's fine. Whee! Mario's just got a little heat on the tush, but he's fine. <laughs> ow, ow. Oh, now he's dead. Uh, too bad. Mario was just hit in the face by a bullet bill. It's fine. <laughs> he got a big. He got a spongy nose. Can do this part again. Jumped right there. <laughs> Perspective's oh. a little weird. Why does this not put you at the beginning of the tunnel section? Well, so you can get that extra life. I. Yes. <laughs> Miller's skeptical. I don't like it. Folds wings unapprovedly. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Trying to 
jump there and it's sticking for some reason. Big Bertha. I love that. Big bullet bills are called bonsai bill. Oh, okay. Bonsai bill. Thanks, Smash Bros. is a statue. Why Wait, not? Doesn't the phrase bonsai have a negative connotation in Japanese yeah. culture? Sure. Yeah, but <laughs> it's a bad guy. That's fair. Ugh. Busy. Alright. Oh, it's Junior. I got big plans. I'm gonna roll, play bowling with these rocks. Hmm. <laughs> oh, well. And despite my size, you can still twirl, tornado punch me. Uh. Like Bowser's uh, inexplicable geomancy. <laughs> yeah, that's actually. Oh yeah, I can fun. surround myself in a ball of rock. You, you <laughs> don't you remember me doing that in Mario World Two? <laughs> hey, maybe he just didn't have any you know, uh, rocks around in those other games. And apparently, just doubling his shell. Okay. Look, he's a magical turtle dragon dude, okay? He has okay. magic powers. <laughs> I was gonna say, he's creating stars and stuff. He's a. He alone is like Kardashev 3 civilization. Oh Alright, he can, he can perform miraculous acts. The only reason Bowser hasn't colonized the galaxy and established his hegemony over over time and space is because he's obsessed with Mario and Peach. Oh, that's, that's how you say that, okay. Not easier to see where you're going through a clear planet, Bowser. <laughs> Guar. Oh. Oh, late.
See, I didn't question the, like, shockwave stomps, because he's been doing that for a while. Mm. It's like a staple Bowser technique. Pretty much all the Bowsers can do that. Did you beat him? Or did you just... Oh, you beat him? Okay. Nice. And so, Bowser fell into the sun. And died. Forever. Yep, he burned up. <laughs> he yeah. went full Terminator 2 on us. <laughs> the boss fight in Mario Galaxy 2 is harder. <laughs> Man. He's dead. He's just straight up dead. Yeah. You're like in the original. He's never coming back. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even just like See, the if... solution disappear, disappear below the surface. He caught on fire first and then disappeared below the surface. That felt... I mean, they should have had like a secret boss where if, if you had all the stars, then like a giant dry Bowser came out. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> that felt... no, you, f you fight Go the ahead. final grand star and it's actually an antagonist. Or Rosalina, maybe. Just that? Eh. <laughs> huh? Mirror is like. I'll wave my arms out and fly, fly, my pretty, fly. And Peach is just there. And now she's. And now Bowser Jr. is dead. He fell into the plane. Yeah, well, I was like, what happened to him? You, you could see him. He was falling oh. <laughs> into the burning planet. No, Bowser's invincible to lava, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> Also, nobody hey, seems. Everybody seems to be able to breathe in space, so that doesn't matter either. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's airspace. Airspace. <laughs> it's international airspace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, he's fine. <laughs> cool. Well, he looks a little drunk. E but, uh, Oh no! It's Donald Duck's uh, Snow Army all over again. The universe gets destroyed, but then the Lumas make it again from scratch. <laughs> so, so, so all that just annihilated space time. Cool. Yep. Cool. Well, Bowser was working with a an awful lot of power right there. Apparently so. God, he really was Kardashev Type Three, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Bowser, what are you up to these days? Oh. I think that's how galaxies work. The burial okay, way. Look, I know I said she was a giant person before, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> and now, Mario, I will crush you! <laughs> oh, yes, please, Mama! <laughs> yeah, God. Okay. <laughs> Riz is like, nope. <laughs> wow, 
By the brony vamp, I don't know what you mean. What Karashat? Wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Did you add an extra layer? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I'm waiting for somebody to notice that. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I think people out. have been uh, distracted by this particular <laughs> West. <laughs> I was wondering if you were gonna make like a like a red shirt and overalls type outfit. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, uh, every time he he's given West a new outfit, it's what Rick is actually just wearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so Eliza's overalls are bottomless. Okay, so, so are they just over sums? No, yeah, because anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. Right Welcome, new galaxy. Yes, it's a brand new galaxy <laughs> made from scratch. I recreated the universe. Yeah, it's like um. What is that thing called? Bullshock Brain? You mean... You mean, um, um... Boltzmann Brain. You mean Boltzmann Brain. Yeah, Boltzmann Brain. They recreated the universe and it's exactly the same except for, like, minuscule differences. And everybody who died was also... Yay! <laughs> Because everybody uh, died in that too. Yeah. Yeah. They all got uh, Star Trek Star Trek transported. Or they got disassembled and reassembled. So it's <laughs> canon that all the games since this one are set in a different universe. Uh, I said this was getting Canada. <laughs> oh, I see it. Ooh. That is one big mall. Yeah. But yeah, the boss battle seemed like it went by fast. Like I've come mm -hmm. to expect like multiple farms and like, oh, this gimmick isn't working. I'm going to try something else that's probably faster. You know, like that. Yeah, they needed something with... Actually, I don't know what they needed. <laughs> they probably needed to do something with that last power, the flying power. Mm. How did they incorporate somehow? Yeah, but they decided not to actually use the flying power for anything important in this game, which is kind of weird. Yeah, it, it must I have guess been it last broke minute. way too much. <laughs> Yeah. And that mirror flying around space, guys. Jeez. <laughs> Music. Koji Kondo. Arigato Kondo san. Oh, that's right. Charles Martinet. Yeah. Performance by the orchestra made specifically for this game. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Game being much longer than that. I mean, we did literally beat ba, ba, go to beat the final boss as soon as we had enough stars. So, ba, 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 ba. pretty cool game. Do you think uh, you're gonna like try and like hundred percent it, Rick, or? I don't see why not. Okay. Cool. Still a bunch of stuff to do. You're there, All the hard stuff is Luigi. after this point. <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta start doing all those comet stars. Mm. 
Also, hello, Biff. Oh, hey, Dave. Hello. I've, hello. I was here the whole time. Oh. Ah, you it. I, I was in the Twitch stream the whole time. And I believe. The real disc was the squirrel inside all our hearts. It's true. <laughs> the end. Or oh yeah, Baba is you gets updated tomorrow. Oh, is and they're adding like a level maker, right? Or something like that. Yep. And there's like 150 new levels. <laughs> God, I... Oh, boy! I... I'm putting it in my wish list. ECD says, R.I.P. Satoru Hiwata. Baba art thou. Okay. Thou art Baba. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right, I already have it. <laughs> Here, yeah, where's the Persona game where you get to have Baba as your Persona? <laughs> Yo, Stoy <Stoy-baba>. Baba. <clears throat> anyway. Wariwa Nanji, Nanji wa ware. Wariwa Nanji no kokoro no umi yori izure manu. Okay. I was looking and no, no one's done any fun. Baba is you persona art. <laughs> Baba is me. Baba is all of us. That's true. <laughs> Baba but often is I'm the... like, I can't be the first person to have made that joke. <laughs> Someone else probably did. <laughs> Maybe they drew something for it. No. <laughs> all right. Alrighty. Okay. Well, thanks everyone for coming out again to another great Rick stream. Yeah. Or else. Yeah, or, or else. Or else. <laughs> yeah. Quality we'll standards strictly enforced. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you next time. And if we don't see you, we'll find you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you don't log your mandated uh, Rick. You, you will hours, be at the You will be. <laughs> you will be assembled. Exactly. <laughs> Resistance right. is futile. Resistance? Yes. No. Resistance. Yeah. Resistance. Resistance. Uh, Ah, who's yeah. something? <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> good night, all. Good night, good night. everybody. Good night. Have a good night. Have a good night.